Every project in VFS that I've had up until now has been with a team of producers, and this is the first one solo, so having to keep in contact with just as many people as before, and having to balance just as many plates as before, but doing it all by myself has been the biggest challenge. But it's also been super rewarding. My name is Jamie, and I'm the producer and creator of Lily and Oliver. I was there for all of it. I, I loved casting. I love our cast. I loved getting the crew. I think I'm super excited about our cast and our crew because a lot of them know each other already. They've worked with each other already, so it's a super comfortable just atmosphere behind the camera as well as in front. Um, I've loved just getting to know everybody, and everybody has been super excited. My name is Bob, and I'm the director on Lily and Oliver. We, um, we, had, we had a little bit of uh, diffusion in the back of the frame there that we had left laying on the set. I don't want to name names. I was going to call it an artistic choice, but apparently some people don't like that. So we're going to have to just reshoot this little scene here. You know, not, no big deal. No big deal. Happens all the time. Oh, hello there. My name is Darren, and I am uh, I'm uh, running the camera and setting up the lights with assistance from some very excellent people today. Well, I work a lot with uh, Bob and I know a lot of the people that are uh, here on the crew. And, uh, and I met Jamie a little while back and um, then somebody said, hey, we're gonna shoot a, a web series. And I was like, oh, some more web series. Let's, let's shoot some web series. It's been tense. It's been really tense. Bob is by far the meanest director that I've ever come across and he's you know he's really good as a writer and he's really he's good as a producer and he's pretty good as an actor but when it comes to directing I've never seen this before he is like he rules with an iron fist okay I didn't have a beard before we started that's how much I'm scared do you only wear that hat when you direct it's a new hat Jamie's uh, very easy to work with. You're very easy to work with. Oh, thanks. Um, Why? Very laid back, very fun, very professional. Um, when challenges are, are thrown your way, you uh, you take them in stride. Um, and there's there's that element of fun should always be sort of like the last thing that comes into the equation. You want to make sure everything's done well and, and right. But uh, you want it to be fun too. And Jamie uh, has a sense of play, which is good. I like that. I enjoy that. You're following that script very well. For that. Thank you. Yeah. I was out of the country and Jamie sent me an email asking if I would be available to help with the project and uh, when I told him that I was out of the country he said, oh, never mind then. And I said, no, wait, Jamie, I still want to be a part of whatever you're doing. So I got on board. It's been lovely. Jamie is uh, one of the hardest working people on set. I've never seen someone bust their butt as much as he has. Yeah, it's been a delight to work with Jamie. It's been wonderful on set. Everyone is, uh, I said this the other night, it was 2.30 a.m. and everyone was still giddy up and, and, and ready to go and having a lot of fun. So there has not been one down moment on set. It's been absolutely you see, uh, sometimes on uh, shoots such as this, you don't have all of the high-fangled uh, sort of uh, you know big technological equipment. So we've got uh, people, people that hold things. Uh, we call them meat stands. And looks good. Yeah, there we go. See, so what we're doing is the sun is is really bright, right? And so we put that little uh, nice little bit of paper uh, sheet over it. Now you're properly exposed. And uh, exposes you properly. You look soft. So yeah, this is the magic of filmmaking. We're in a cloud. Here on the set of Lily and Oliver. This this sheet here costs about fifty thousand dollars. So oh, yeah, it's very, not, well, not very anybody expensive. can do this though. Very that's expensive. the thing. You got to have the gear. Wait, the wait gear a second. and the power. <laughs> oh man, I'm out of here. That's how we do things.
I am Brian Knox McGugan playing Gabriel. Are you kidding, sweetie? Because of you, half of the men's athletic department started to drink coffee at Four Sisters. You can come back whenever you want. The crew's great. Everyone's yeah. really everyone's really sharp. I'm impressed. Like this is done fast. You guys are yeah. together. It's right. really professional. There was something, um, just something that I thought it, it was really important somehow. It just appealed to me and I couldn't explain why, I just knew I had to do it. Uh, my name is Joel Tibbetts and my role is sound design and music composition. I get the sense that um, like a minimalistic approach would be the best. I'm interested in kind of mixing acoustic textures with some synth sounds and trying to make a kind of a kind of a two-sided soundscape with that. I got an email about about this uh, series and about and, and the script, and I read it, and I just I don't know. There was something I just loved the loved the idea about. It. I loved the idea about you know being a web series, and, and just I don't know when when and when I first saw the the sides and even the script, it was just it was really well written, and it was just I don't know a character I thought uh, I thought would be very interesting to play. I don't know what's going on. It's chaos. <laughs> How was I approached to work out in Lily and Oliver? Uh, Jamie asked me, uh, and um, I was like, I think I'm free, why not? Jamie is, well, Jamie's pretty awesome. He's very confident, he's very, um, he's fishing for compliments. The atmosphere and set uh, for both days have been, it's been awesome. Everybody's been fairly cohesive and working well together. Get back to work, Jen! Darren! I had enough of you. My name is Jory Phillips, and I am Lily of Lily and Oliver. It was Jamie, because he sent me an email and was like, you should come audition for the role of Lily. I had not heard of it before that point. And then I read the script and I really liked it. So much fun. He's fantastic and satisfying, like an ice cream cone on a sunny day. Bob and the rest of the crew are awesome, awesome people. Like, I'm having so much fun. It's, it's not really words in English for it. Ooh, all of it. <laughs> I'm Hope Lavelle, and I was the assistant director for Lily and Oliver. Um, well, I knew Jamie from a, couple, a project that he did earlier, and literally, literally after that project, he was like, Hope, I'm going to want you to work on my final. I don't know what I want you to do yet, but I'm going to want you to work on it. And then months later, he just approached me and said, Hey, Hope, you're going to work on my final. And I said, okay. Oh, when I saw the crew, I was just like, oh my god, this is amazing. It's like all of the best people that I know from our little community of filmmakers, all in one room, making one project. And I was like, if I had made a project, I would have definitely picked these people. Uh, Jamie, hmm, he's like, Jamie is a ninja in a teal shirt.
We'll cut you in the jugular. My name is Ian Holiday, and I was the sound mixer and boom up for Lillian Oliver. It was a good atmosphere, a lot of fun. People were really chill, but we hurried and got things done in a really good amount of time. So it was a really nice and casual shoot while still being really professional. Good balance. Uh, Bob is a really great director from what I've seen here. He, he's quick and he knows what we need and he'll take time to accommodate for things that a lot of directors skip over like wild lines or room tone. He knows they're necessary and he makes a point of that so that's good and uh, everyone's really chill and calm and get things going so it's uh, really it helps the atmosphere. Well, uh, where to start? No, Jamie's been awesome. Ever since I was contacted, just been exclamation marks and emails, sounded chipper, and he's fun and smiling, but he's also professional, get things done, and tells people where they need to be and when, and it's good. It's been really good. Jamie, do you want to tell everybody what you just did? <laughs> I, I bumped the tripod. Those are the color of Lily, and this is all over. Um, my name is Samantha Green. I'm the graphic designer and behind the scenes documentation. A delight, as always. Um, yeah, he's super cool. He's super relaxed about everything. Um, but he's able to like get the point across of when he needs his deadlines and when things should be done and if he if he thinks anything needs to be touched up or he always has good suggestions. He's always very he's very he has very constructive con criticism, so it's always good. Oh, Lily and Oliver title sequence. That was probably the funnest thing. Plan was to do a stop motion kind of thing. And we wanted to kind of go on that theme of the kind of chalk on the sidewalk type of feel to it and it's literally what it was. Got these really nice pastel colored chalks and we just set up the tripod and just started going at it and taking one picture at a time. It actually came out really super cute, so a good 16 second title sequence. That you can see on lillianoliverblog.com. Okay everybody, that's a wrap on Lily and Oliver. Way to go! <laughs>Thank you so much to everybody. You guys took so much time out of your busy schedules to, at the end of the day, basically just help me because it's my final project. And I appreciate it so, so much. Everybody was so good. Thank you. Thanks so much.